Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant, one of my favorite cryptocurrencies with very strong fundamentals, um, good partnerships like Amazon and also um, potentially, and these are rumors at this stage only, um, potentially Visa. And also they work um, on the CBDC for the United Kingdom, the central bank digital currency together with Ripple. They cooperate with Ripple and they work on the CBDC for the United Kingdom in the um, British, oh no, in the Digital Pound Foundation, I think it's called. So yeah, I um, started to talk about Quant on this channel when it was at $60. That was earlier this year and um, I managed to get hold of some at the time. Didn't buy enough, obviously, um, but um, I bought quite a bit, but not enough, not enough. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's been going with Quant. And as you know, it is one of my favorite cryptos. I'm dollar cost averaging in, did less up here, but lately or la yeah, lately I've been uh, buying some more again, as we were in this sort of consolidation here, um, in which we currently still are. And we are currently trading in a symmetrical triangle here. In my view, it is looking similar, not the same, but very similar to the um, Coty chart. Whereas on the Coty chart, we had a descending wedge out of which we are now breaking out um, and hitting a key resistance there, but it's a good sign that we're breaking out to the upside here and with volume, yeah, very importantly, but Quant isn't doing anything yet, but I'm just wondering, could we see the same thing happen here with um, Quant as well? So looking okay at the moment, and it's pretty much that we are waiting for the breakout. We're trading, getting close into the apex here, which is currently sitting at, well, I would say 30th, 31st of October. Yeah, so you can see here on the daily chart, actually, yeah, the volume is getting smaller and smaller as well, which is typical for a symmetrical triangle as we move into the apex. And to be honest, we just have to wait for the breakout. Yeah, nobody will be able to tell you now if a breakout is going to happen to the upside or the downside. Generally, what I would say that we are very, very clearly here in an uptrend. I mean, you've got the, um, we, you can clearly see it. I mean, we, we've come from down here from, um, you know, in, in such a short period of time, I mean, from $60, you know, we've come to all the way up to um, over $400. Now that was way overextended, but since then we've obviously um, retraced a little bit and um, now we are in this triangle. What I could imagine is something that we can potentially create a trend line here, which might support us as we are going to get closer to it. So what we have here is we could start down here draw a trend line up here, yeah, and potentially pretty much where that apex will be, we hit that trend line. So that, in my opinion, is looking bullish then, and we have we would then have an uptrend, continue our way up, because, you know, you get into the apex, and we are hitting an ascending trend line, which could support the price in its way or on its way to the upside further. Well, we're currently finding support here at the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level at $286. That is where we found support pretty much all the time. There were a few fake outs to the downside, but overall the $286 level is really giving us here some key support. We then have the $320 US dollar level, which is the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level, which is um, basically the next um, ladder element that we need to climb up to. And this ascending trend line could really help us get there. Now, after $320, we have this key Fibonacci level at $367, um, which is the 0.214 Fibonacci retracement level, before we can then approach new all-time highs. Now, to be fair, Quant already performed really well in this bull run, but I think it has so much more to offer. It's still um, sort of, in my opinion, not well known enough. Um, it is such a strong uh, project with such a strong partnership um, that I think it has, um, it supports more, yeah, it supports, it, it deserves more, um, yeah, more price action and more attention as well. I mean, a company or an organization that works with Ripple on a CBDC for the United Kingdom is mind blowing, but they also work together with Amazon. So very, very interesting. And we are here just hovering around the 50 line on the RSI. So there's plenty of space to the upside. I mean, we all the way went up to 86 already here, 87 and um, before that was in September, only a month ago. So there's again, a lot of space to move to the upside. Um, we're currently going up here. The trend is showing a move to the upside. So I think as soon as we hit the 20 line here, which might be a few days, we could get a buy signal. Also, we are very close to getting a bullish cross here on the MACD. 
and also to cross the zero line to the upside again and um, yeah I mean um, the last time that happened here that led to really nice price increases from down here 180 to well yeah all the way up to 428 dollars so I think it's overall looking good I think it's holding strong um, we can see parallels to the Coty chart which also broke to the upside and we have to have a little bit more patience in my opinion at the moment I think these are good prices to buy what we need to understand is people will start to buy and I, I tell you that now people will want to jump <coughs> jump into quant and talk about you know is it too late to buy when we're getting here towards $400 that's when people will wake up but that is too late uh, again no financial advice but I'm gonna get hold of some more as long as I can and um, I think we'll, we'll certainly see some very, very nice price increases. What you need to remember whenever we had Bitcoin retracing, Quant didn't really care. Quant was very stable. Um, I mean, we obviously went way over extended here. That is why we retraced here. But whenever we had Bitcoin corrections recently, um, Quant did really, really well. So that makes me wonder, should we see another crash or a drop of the Bitcoin price? I think Quant could really excel. Now that's obviously only speculation because it did it in the past and it doesn't mean it needs to do it in the future but in my opinion it's a very very nice very interesting and very um a project with re with really good foundations and a really good team yeah i mean they are based in the uk they are, i think based in cambridge um and they have a really good team good partnerships as i said and again it hasn't really pumped now since bitcoin has made a new all-time high which tells me again it has a lot to catch up so yeah, come to your own conclusions, watch a few other videos of other people, read a little bit, check the Quant website out and uh, come to your own conclusions. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.